Okay, welcome back to the Tinkerage. Uh, it's been a few days since I updated the vlog. It's been a few days since I've been in the Tinkerage. So, quick update. Last Saturday, I went to the FFX Tool Show at Kent Showground, and yeah, I could have spent so much money there. Really could have spent so much money. Uh, but I didn't buy anything. Got quite a few catalogues uh, to drool over, and I find them useful for reference as well. If you're trying to do something and you want to know if there's a suitable tool, then a catalogue seems to be a good way of doing it. That's sometimes faster and easier than using the internet. So this week, progress has been slow. I have been uh, quite busy with things outside of the Tinkerage. Still haven't got that up there. The Tuesday morning, the weather was pretty good, but it was cold. And I set out to make that. I took the last remaining board that I had. Uh, this foot wide timberboard and I made some measurements and I, I cut it but I was rushing I didn't have a proper plan I was trying to work in too little space outside and I ended up messing it up so for example here's two of the boards I cut level at one side and as you can see there's quite a bit of difference at the bottom that, I'm afraid, did put me in a bit of a huff for a few days. I don't like it when things don't quite go to plan, but then I didn't have a plan, so why should I not like it because it didn't go to plan? It's my own fault. Yeah. It was uh, interesting this week, Fools With Tools podcast, which if you don't listen to, you really should. Fantastic p podcast. I'll put a link down below in the, the description. They were talking about failure, and I kind of took this bad cutting as a bit of a failure. Yeah, I was trying to cut this one foot board on my, I forgot what it's called, miter saw. I was trying to cut it on my miter saw. And my miter saw only cut about 160 millimeters. So I was trying to do it by flipping it over. I wasn't taking proper measurements. It's all my own fault. But is that, in some ways, you could call that a fail. But the bigger fail was actually my reaction to it. And, yeah, I'm supposed to be a grown up. Yeah, I'm supposed to just get on and do it. But that, that could just bring me around. I didn't get back into Tinker. I think I came in once to kind of have a bit of a sulk and then left again. But yesterday afternoon, I set to. Uh, thinking about how I can use this. I thought I was going to have to scrap this. I'm not sure that I do, but I did change my plan. Um, I was going to use this kind of uh, skirting board, this sort of profile, because I had a couple of lengths of it, just cut it up to make the supports. I've now modified what I was going to do, and I spent some time yesterday afternoon stripping it down, cut it to length, uh, ripped it for thickness as well as for width on the bandsaw. I do have a little bit of work to do to tidy this up. I really wish I had a planer thickness up because that would have made life a lot easier. The bandsaw blade, even when it's lowest setting, uh, was buckling around the knots that are in this, this quite cheap timber. I'm sure a few minutes with a belt sander will sort those few pieces that are like that. But so I'm hoping to get that progressed a bit more tomorrow. Uh, I haven't got any more time really today. I just wanted to get this video out. A couple of people have asked, made much sense messages, uh, and I thought I must uh, keep people up to date. So I'm hoping that tomorrow I will get those trimmed down so they're the same length, get those tidied up so the thickness is a bit more even, and then get that the sides actually sorted out. Maybe, hopefully, things go well. I should be able to cut that up tomorrow afternoon and then I can move on to the next stage. Not sure what the next stage is going to be. As always, I'm just going to take it one step at a time. Getting those off there is going to create some space. I was toying with the idea. Well, I probably will put some tools up there, things I don't use quite so often. So there's space on there for some of the tools. I'm hoping that might release a bit of space there for maybe putting one of my smaller bench grinders. 
and that will release space then underneath there where I've got other things stored, maybe put a bit more wood storage. Or maybe if one of the tool companies wishes to send me a uh, lunchbox, plain a thicknesser, a thicknesser at least, that would go nicely under there, I think. Yeah, the message for the week, I suppose, is something I'm very quick to tell other people. But sometimes, you know, lessons are always easier. Taking your own advice is sometimes harder than giving advice to others. But something going wrong isn't a failure. Perhaps how we deal with it is the, the failure. I guess that's a kind of an aspect of stoicism. We're lost not when we don't know where we are. We're lost when we sit down and give up. That's the failure. From failure, we learn. From things going wrong, we learn. Just keep moving forward, one step at a time.